Hey, what's going on YouTubers? So today's another video. Uh, today I found a radiator. We're picking up a radiator this evening for the Honda Civic. As I mentioned in the previous video, uh, I can go over there and watch it from Shay's side. The car got pretty hot, um, so it was temping up into the 210s, 212. Um, just hotter than what we wanted it to be. So I sourced out a two core, dual core, um, Yanaka brand with slim fan, pretty nice radiator, uh, Facebook marketplace find. So ultimately it's gonna be a, a pretty good added on or an add on. So we'll need to go ahead and get the car jacked up, get this one pulled out. So let's go ahead and get started. So we've got an upper radiator bracket, a couple of different items to pull loose, drain the fluid, get the car on jack stands. I'll go ahead and set everything up and uh, we'll uh, go ahead and get started. All right, with the upper radiator bracket removed and the overflow removed, we'll go ahead and start draining the coolant. With the coolant draining, I'm gonna go ahead and crack and remove the upper radiator cap, the only radiator cap. As you can hear, the fluid will exit a lot quicker. While the coolant's draining, I'm gonna go ahead and loosen up some of the clamps. All right. All right, guys, so all the clamps are loose. I'm gonna go ahead and let it all drain out and then we'll remove it. So we'll pick it up here in just a few minutes. Okay, the coolant seems to be drained out. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull the hoses so that way I can remove the radiator. Before I do that, I've gotta remove the electrical. So mine still has a plug. All right. So I've got to pull off the fan shroud before I can take off out the radiator. Okay, so I did a little work off camera. The uh, the up pipe's gone. Um, I went ahead and I pulled the bolts from the actual fan shroud. Um, everything should come out now. So let's give it a tug. We got her out. All right, so with everything out, we're waiting on the new one. Um, go meet this guy here in just a minute, and we'll pick it back up, and I'll show you guys the new product. All right, guys, so everything's out. The uh, the radiator's drained. I've got to finish removing the low radiator hose, but ultimately, here in just a minute, I'm going to go pick up the new one, meet the guy, and uh, whenever I get back, I'll show you what the new one looks like. It's a pretty sweet deal. All right, guys, so I went and picked up the new radiator. Here's the old radiator. So as a comparison, the old, the new. Let's put them side by side here. Pretty large difference. Ultimately, this should help just keep the coolant temperatures a lot lower. So I'm gonna let it cool down outside since we're working in the garage with the door open. Go ahead and uh, get everything situated and flushed out and ready to install here as soon as it gets cooler. All right guys, in hopes to try to get this wrapped up, uh, I've got the radiator set up over here. I'm gonna go ahead and remount the upper and lower hose outside of the car and we'll go ahead and drop it in. So we'll get you set right back up. All right, so what we have is the, uh, the lower radiator hose we're gonna reattach. That way it's easier to do. Show you guys what I'm working on here. And look at that. There's an adapter left in the hose, so we need to get this out. And then it'll go right on. All right, so we'll get the new radiator in here. I've got a grommet that actually fell out. I'm gonna go ahead and reinstall the top bracket to hold it into place, if that fits any better. All right, that's gonna work for the time being. Next on the list, we're gonna do the upper radiator hose. Get it all tidied up here. Next thing to do is just fill it up with coolant, put the up pipe back on, and let's bleed it. All right guys, so I've got everything wrapped up here. I just topped off the radiator. It's got coolant in it now, so um, it's actually water in this case, but um, everything's kind of 
ready for it to start and then we'll start bleeding it off and adding coolant to it. get away from the car here a little bit the car's idling i'm trying to bleed the system got water all the way back in the car filled up topped off so ultimately a successful upgrade i'm gonna go i'm gonna show you what i did um you know ultimately after it's all said and done but um pick it up here in just a minute and we'll conclude this video all right guys i just finished everything up um let the car heat and then fill it back up with water heat again fill it back up with water um, I think I've got it pretty well bled off at this point, but I needed to go ahead and wire in the fan. So I tested polarity. This fan will only run in one direction. So easy enough. I went ahead and snipped off the end of the actual, uh, the factory radiator fan, wired it in. So I'm going to show you that. So back down here, I wired in to the factory plug. So this one's detachable. Tie that off up here. But it works. I need a bushing down below and I need to replace this with something that actually fits or makes something. So all in all successful. Well guys, that's gonna sum it up for this video. Um, give me a like if you enjoyed it. Um, Civic's now capable of running in this heat. So hopefully we'll be able to test it here soon. I've got some bushings that I've got to install for the shifter, as you saw in a previous video. I've also got that bird cage that's on the way. So I appreciate your help and the comment on getting the part number that's on its way. And there may be some spherical bushings here in the near future. So stay tuned. If you haven't already subscribed for future content, share the video around to your friends. I'd greatly appreciate it. We'll catch you in the next video. Thanks.